Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are continuing our PHP OOPS tutorial. And now guys, we are going to delete the data from our database. So now let's move to this student view dot PHP at this delete button and start creating for the delete option. Okay, so let's move student view dot PHP file and here is our delete button guys. Okay, so we don't want in a a tag instead we want in a form okay so let me just comment this and create a simple form where we are going to use the same delete button okay with button tag so instead of a tag we are going to type dottoon button type is equal to submit and this button name will be delete button so let me just minimize this and zoom it okay so the button name will be as delete student and we want the value also so let's send the value inside this button with the id okay so let's copy this your student id and paste that into your button value done and now guys let's write the method is equal to post which I want send to the post method with the post method and now let's go to codes folder forward slash student code dot php file okay so you can find that codes folder here student code dot php let's move over there done and let's create a delete option guys over here so let's move on with the if condition where I want to check the student button name okay so so let's copy this and go to a student code.php and check in this if condition with the help of insert function that button is clicked or not so which is coming by the post method done and we have the value also inside this let's copy this and get in on variable called dollar id so where I want to validate that id with the help of validate input function okay so we have created this function inside our app.php as we are continuing it over here and now guys let's give the database connection connection and then your input so inside this delete student we have the value right we have given c here so this value we are calling it over here and storing in a variable called id done and now let's write the object over here object of new student controller done so this student controller you have to call it so now guys you need to take this and let's create a variable with the result and then you are going to call your student object and inside that student controller we have to create one delete function so inside this delete function we will pass this id so let's pass the id over here done and after that whatever result we get as per that we are going to redirect so first let's go to a student controller and create this delete method or a function inside our student controller so let's go to student controller and yep guys let's move below as simple let's begin with public function where delete method and then you are getting the student id is equal to where if you want to validate once again you can validate this id so let me just show you validate input function where you are getting this id so first you have to send your database connection and then your id done and now guys let's write the query to execute and delete the id for this okay so yep let's write the query student delete query is equal to where well, type the query delete from the table name students where id is equal to inside single quotes your student id and then the limit will be one because we are going to get only one data because one record we are deleting at a time so now guys let's execute this query so where dollar this of your database connection and then your query method 
which will execute the query and whatever the result is let's store in a variable called result and with this help of result let's send true or false okay so dollar result which means if it is success means we will set it to true else we will return it false and now whatever the status goes it goes back to your student code so insert this variable we will check if this result is true then you will redirect right so let me just copy the code of redirect from here okay and paste here and we will tell student deleted successfully and go back to view.php page else let's tell something went wrong okay add student view.php perfect so now guys let's get back to our student view and here we have to check the output so let's come refresh okay so let me just add one dummy user click add and here i'm going to tell dummy dummy at gmail.com where some random course and random phone number let's save student student added successfully let's see in view okay perfect so we have got the data and now let's delete the user guys okay so now i'm going to click delete perfect student deleted successfully and here you see there is no data in our view table so guys we have successfully seen that how to delete a record using your object oriented programming in php so guys let's continue next video with the new topic and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share